The meet and greet. Let's take out the script. Nice. Okay, big script. All right, the meet and greet is lines <coughs> one through. I have a one through eleven. Okay. Okay. The bid. Let's do that. No, I'm just kidding. No, the meet and greet is probably deeper than that. Uh, oh, it is. Yeah, the meet and greet is lines one through eleven. You can highlight that on your script if you want to just block this off. The point of these blocks, guys, is is this this is this is exactly what has to happen uh, in order for the sale to happen. So you have to. It, it's almost like you checkbox each one. Go around. You know, is, this, is this facing me? No, I don't want to do it. <laughs> like with the. I think I think I'm so confused about what. How do you find the order of the day? Do you do you establish the order of the day? Yes. We'll get into this in a moment. Right. Let's focus on the first one though, meet and greet. I know this might sound like 101. What do you what what do you try to establish in the meet and greet? Just start naming some things because a lot of trust, establish trust, okay. Okay. Greetings. Okay, so we just heard something like trust. 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 Okay, what else? Credibility. 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 Okay. What else? That's a good one. Is it I after this, guys? Yes. <laughs> Credibility. Credibility. Yeah, so you got it. What else? Expertise. Sure! Let's say the same thing as Shut the fuck up. I can ask you, bro. What else? For the meet and greet. Which, does anybody have a question what the meet and greet is? It's literally the first time you say hello to them. And they're basically going to figure out if they're going to give you a chance to pitch them. That's actually what you're trying to figure out. Right, the thirty second. We all do it too. Like when you pick up somebody's random phone call, it's what the fuck are you calling about? And like, who are you? Like, are you worth my time? Right? You're trying to fight for literally an extra five seconds on the phone. So that's good. How do you develop trust in, in the meet and greet? How do you currently do it? Any? Like, uh, how, how do you currently do it? The link. Okay, the link. That's good. But what's the link? So the link is like, the link is gonna give you uh, if if you're able to get them on the link. What is Why that gonna be? Huh? But why I'm calling? Not yet. Yeah, a little bit. You can throw that in there. But the actual meet and greet at its simplest form, it the link is gonna show what? Reviews. Some of the big companies. Yep. Which is just thing. Um, it's gonna show the reviews. Well, it's just saying. more credibility. Does it establish compliance as well? Because you're telling them what to do and they're doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true too, right? I'll tell you the ultimate thing though. The biggest thing that actually pulls all this together is actually the way that you talk, like your tonality. Mm -hmm. it, that, that's the biggest thing. So what are things that you probably have, Dave, when you're about to call, do you have a way that you try to, you try to talk to them? Who are you when you call them? Who are you? Because it's about your identity when you're calling, right? Who do you think that you are when you are about to make, or is there nothing right now? There could be something. Um, it's just like when I run with uh, my boy, I feel like, you know, like, more, a little bit, a little bit energetic, not, not too much. Okay, who are you, Marcus, when you're trying to call? Like, when you're about to call in your head, they, they pick up the phone. Who are you trying to represent? Like, like a dad. Okay, like a dad? Like, okay, what do you mean by that? Like, I try to be very chilling, but I have more success when I'm more stern and more authoritative. A figure of authority. Okay. Okay. Ryan, do you have an identity when you call, or do you just pretty much talk like a normal person? Mm, I would say I was way friendly before, but I've been more monotone. Okay. The past probably like two weeks, I've been trying to be more monotone. It's just, uh, yeah, I guess that, that establishes more authority, in my opinion. Okay. Um, yeah. What about you, Ryan? Uh, I try to come off as... Uh, like an like an employee, like I'm I'm here to work. I'm here to get you this information. Service based. Service based, where it's really just like this is my job. Sure. You know, this is what I have to do. You know, I'm not here to necessarily be your friend. Okay. I'm, I'm here to. There's try a technique it. in that. That's a little bit of a takeaway. That's yeah. pretty good. Service based. Okay. Then, uh, then what about you? Um, I try to not sound like a salesperson. Okay. How do you do that? Um, I try not to inflect my voice. In certain ways, okay. 
I've been working on it. Like I think initially when I started, it Dev gets real excited. Hey, good morning. This is Dev, and with Dev, like I said, you know, like inflecting it, like up whenever. In, in your voice, because there's ways that you could say things. What would you say, in Peters, that you are trying to get across the table? Like I'm calling you for this reason, but you're not saying it. It's just hi, hi. I'm like an underwriter, but I, I okay. I swap between like sounding like an underwriter or like sounding like um like super friendly. Yeah. Like, I guess it depends on the energy. I think one thing you're doing in that space is I'm putting, like I've emphasized the fact that, you know, like in the script it says something like you responded to. I like I started visually pointing like, like you fucking responded to. And I feel like it gets people on the hook like, oh, maybe I gave you a to lose. It buys me at least enough to get to it. You have to understand that this is maybe the most important. When I see a dial tracker and it has a lot of circles and it says they're not interested, it was because you fucked up the meeting. Like it's because something in your voice basically said you're not really somebody that I need to be listening to. That's the bottom line what it was. Which goes back to the hidden step, which is you have to be in state. So what we're building is the identity that you're calling from. So when I call on the script, what I'm really saying in my voice is I'm saying something. This is probably the number one thing we'll put it in there. This is your identity that you want to pay notes this is This is who you want to act like you are. You're saying something that's super important. And it's definitely more important than what they're doing. What could they be doing? Dave, what could they be doing? Working. They could be what else could they be doing? Literally cooking, the cooking. They could be fucking cooking. Whatever the fuck you're doing, my my call in my voice is more important than what they're doing. Right? That's the number one thing. Which will lead to being some kind of figure of authority. Right? What I'm saying is more important, and I'm trying to command. It's a commanding. It's authority. That's 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 your tonality, which is gonna build this. Well, the script will help build this anyway, but the script will help build trust credibility. But the way that I'm talking will help build trust credibility and that I'm an expert, right? The way that I'm and, and how do you specifically do this? If you want to take notes, this is this is so the, let's just make it simple. The two things you're trying to do. What I'm saying is important, and I'm a figure of authority. What I'm saying is important, but how do you do that? Your obvious tonality, your tone and your voice, too. Your enunciation, right? Um, that's 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 actually that's some key things. That's some key things. The way that you enunciate your words, you literally, you can literally practice when you're doing your uh, voice memos if you're recording it, and you actually stress out your words this, like this the whole time. That way, your actual language will improve when you're on the phone. That's it. The reason that people are hanging up, the reason people hang up the phone, is because you didn't seem important. And you can speak to their subconscious mind with your tonality, right? Okay, so let's practice. What up, Maggie? Okay. So I'll go first, and we're just gonna do literally the first two lines. Hi, Ryan. Hi. Hi, Ryan, this is Andrew with Failing Insurance Elevated, touching base about the Be Your Own Bank with Cash Value Life Insurance video you responded to. Okay, yeah, um, what? what? What, which video? Yeah, and the third line is the first time that you can actually break a little state, right? What's the third line for if they're if they're if they're mean? Yeah, you know. What's the third line for if they're mean? You have the script to line up the mood. If they're mean, though, if they're mean, what's the third line? Mean right back. There's two ways. Look, let's just do this. It... Yeah, you can get mean right back to him. Dad. That's the point. That's the point. That's the point. Let's go line by line. Because the the mean read is only one through eleven. Line one, figure of authority. If you want to literally, literally take notes, you guys can get your script if you want. You guys can get your script if you want. And you can pull up chairs. Line two, figure of authority. Important. Line three varies. Line three varies. If they're nice, jump. Happy. If they're mean, stern, obviously. That's the facts, right? So literally, we'll, we'll, we'll do this real quick. Not everyone's gonna go, but it's gonna be this. Hi, Marcus. Yes. Hi, Marcus, this is Andrew with Fidelity Insurance Elevated. I was touching base about the be your own bank with cash value life insurance video that you responded to. Oh uh, yeah, I remember. So if he was a dickhead, then I'll be like, yeah, you remember that. If he was mean, I respond back mean, right? 
Yeah, you, re you remember the video with the strong ball guy all over social media talking about the life insurance? You remember that, right? I'm saying like, you remember that, right? Like, you remember that. Obviously, Sterling, you remember that, right? So we're on the same page, we're confirming it, got it. If it was nice, oh yeah, I remember that. I'm saying it jokingly and happy. This is one-on-one, -on -one. we're just talking about the fundamentals. So I'm not a match his happy tonality tone. That's the first time I break that, but the first two lines never change. Because you don't know where they're at, right? This is the first time they responded. So if they're happy, I literally say it like this. <laughs> yeah, you, you remember the video with the strong ball guy over social media talking about the life insurance, the IULs? See how that's different? That's so important, that's so subtle, that has to happen. I'm gonna have one guy do it, Theaters, do, do it one time. Do figure of authority, figure of authority, this is important. When, I, when you hear me respond, read if I'm happy or mean, and you're gonna either say it as a joke or you're gonna say it stern and obviously. Stern and obviously, Chuck. Good afternoon, P. This is Diego with Fidelity Insurance. I was just touching base about the Be Your Own Bank with Cash Value Life Insurance video you responded to. Yeah, well, what is that? Yeah, you remember the video with the strong bald guy? Say it oh, mean it, like, say it mean it. Say it like, yeah, you, you remember the video though, like with the strong bald guy? Yeah, you remember yeah, the video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember the video yeah, yeah. with the strong bald guy all over social media talking about, literally you can use your hand like, obviously, you remember that? You filled it out, bitch. That's what you're trying to say with your voice. Mm -hmm. That's the key to tonality. You can move your hands if you want. Obviously, you filled it out. Try that. Good afternoon, Key. This is Diego with Fidelity Insurance. I was just touching base about the uh, Be Your Own Bank with Cash Body Life Insurance video you responded to. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You remember the video with the strong ball? Boom! That's it! Feel that? that That's it. That was the same thing. Bro. Dude, no. That was he same projected thing. it more. Did he project it more? Yeah, he did. He projected it more. Alright, now we're gonna try it happy, right? Now I'm gonna respond to the happy guy. Go ahead. Do the first two figure authority, figure authority important for the first two lines. Then I'll indicate that I'm nice. Then you'll say I'm like, yeah, you remember the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're happy. Try it. Hi, Andrew. This is Ryan with Fidelity Insurance Elevated. I was just calling to touch base about the Be Your Own Bank with Cash Value Life Insurance video you responded to. Yeah, oh yeah. I was waiting for you guys to call me. Yeah, okay. yeah. You remember the video that we all got on social media? Yeah. Also, I, I, this is what I do. This is what I do. I say, hi, name, but I'm saying it in figure of authority importance. This is the same tonality. I do that just to get the feel. I, I try to get a feel for them off rip. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Is it good? And I wait for them to say hi. Hello? Who is this? Hi, Ryan. I like to do that. Because mm -hmm. if I just go straight into it, if they didn't, if I wasn't on the same page as them, if I didn't match them, then mm -hmm. right? I like to say in a stern figure of authority, hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. This is Andrew with Fidelity Insurance Elevated. I was just reaching out based on the Be Your Own Bank. With cash value life insurance that you respond to? Yeah, I took that a little more, right? You can if you want. You can go straight through it. I'm just saying, right? But that's that's exactly what I do. That's what I do. Go ahead. When you is it better to say hi Andrew as a question? Like hi Andrew? No, or I'm is saying it, it like I know this is Hi right. Andrew. Yes. This is so this is you cannot, you mm -hmm. cannot question this. You have to say, hi Jacob. Hi Jacob. Try that, Dave. Try to say mm -hmm. hi Andrew. Hi Andrew. That's good! Good! Right? Then you then I'm gonna respond. That first, I'm giving them a chance that one thing to respond, and I can grip onto this is where this guy's at. Is he literally in a bad mood? Is he in a rush? Right? Then I can still give him important, important. Then I give him one more chance to respond, right? But literally the way that you say the first two lines, it's gonna determine if they hang up on you or not. I promise you, it doesn't matter what you're calling about. It doesn't matter. So that's that. Okay. Line four, this is confirmation. Line four is confirmation. You're saying it in a term of conf confirmation. I know it's right, confirmation. I know it's right. And if you try to say it's not right, you've heard me on the phone. When somebody says, this isn't me, it's unbelievable to me. Like, I know that this is you, Arizona, right? Your email's this, right? Like, I know this is you. That is my attitude. That has to be your attitude, right? It has, because it's unbelievable. First of all, I don't know if you know this, but the way that they get to the ad, they have to click it. Like you see an Instagram ad, you click it, then it pulls up a form of 50 states. Their kids not filling this form out. They have to scroll to find their state, click their state. They have to fill out name, email, phone number, and then hit submit, I'd like somebody to contact me. That's what they're filling out. This is complete. The only reason this is really not somebody is if somebody punched in the wrong number. But I'm still, it's still, uh, it's not me. So you don't live in Iowa? I do live in Iowa, that's not me. Okay, your email's this? This is your email, right? 
Well, do you have a friend or a family member that filled it out for you? Like, who would have done it? Because this is life insurance, so somebody would have done it for you, right? That literally has to be your belief system, mm -hmm. right? So, four is confirmation. Five, I'll be your account manager of record today. Okay. So, if they're super mean, if they're super like, I don't know who you are, I don't give a shit, I'm busy, right? If they're super, if they're like in a busy, like I'm busy, I don't wanna hear it right now. Then I just say, I'm, I'm using the keyword, I was assigned. Like, I was just, I, don't be mad at me. I was just assigned. I literally say, I was the account manager assigned to you today for full compliance, my name is Andrew, this your cell phone, then I'm going right into the link. But I'm just, I literally say the tonality if they're, if they're evil is, I was this person assigned you. I know you're pissed. In my voice, that's what I'm saying. I'm not actually saying these words. In my voice, I'm saying, I know you're pissed. I know you're pissed, I'm calling you. But I was the person assigned. This is important. Here's my full name for compliance. It's Andrew Pineda. Is this your cell phone? Let me get a link to you. Right? And you're welcome there. If they're nice, we can almost circle those in, in green. It's the same shit. Um, but you can just say it fully, firm, if they're like super into it. Yeah, I'll be your account manager of record today. And for compliance, my full name is Andrew Pineda. Is this your cell phone number? No, you're going right into the link. Okay. That's the six lines. That's the six lines. We can role play that. It's really just almost color coded, however you want to take notes on your script, but this is so important. And obviously, number one, what's what's this is this is the meet and greet, right? Because it goes all the way down to line 11, but the, the phone, and we'll we'll, 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 run, we'll run over this quick. This is the meet and greet. In order to do this effectively, what's the hand step that you have to have over here? I mean, right. you have to. In other words, it's it's here's the real world. You gotta be in sync. You can't sell somebody if you're depressed. You can't. Energy transfers on the phone. A sale is just an energy transfer. That's what it is. So whatever you have to do, if you're depressed, don't call. Go to the bathroom. Like, whatever you gotta do. But when you're in state, then you can appropriately, this is exactly step by step your tonality. And this is what's gonna get less people to hang up on you, more people to take you seriously. Hi, Marcus, response. Hi, Marcus, this is Andrew with Fidelity Insurance Elevator. I was reaching out based on me. Emphasize, be your own name with cash value life insurance that you respond to. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm a dickhead. Oh, yeah, but you obviously remember the fucking video though, right? That's what I'm saying, right? Then I'm back. Yeah, I do remember that. Okay, and you're in Florida, right? That's another punch, especially if they're mean. You're in Florida, right? I know where you live. Okay, got it. Let me get you this link, then you're right there. Okay, we're gonna have uh, Marcus run through this, try to run through this one time. <coughs> Then we're gonna move on to the link. Any questions so far? Who's not approaching it like this? Because obviously, we're not. I mean, you don't even have to say it. We know who's not approaching it like this, right? But you have to approach it like this. Who thinks this is bullshit? This is exactly how you have to do it. I'm telling you, there's really, it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's one-on-one -on -one stuff, right? Try it. Hi, Andrew. Yep, hi. Hello, Andrew, this is Marcus with Fidelity Insurance Elevated. I'm touching base about the Be Your Own Bank with Cash Value Life Insurance video you responded to. Um, I don't know. What are you talking about? You remember the video with the ugly bald guy all over social media talking about life insurance, right? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, okay. And on your application, it says you're over in Florida. Is that correct? Don't even say, ah, oh, okay. Go right into a stab. Mm -hmm. And on your application, it says you're over there in Florida, right? That, that, if they're mean, that's literally a jab. That's like, yeah, your application says you're in Florida, right? Like, you filled it out, right? Okay, okay, try that one more time. Instead of like, yeah, right, just go right into that. And your application here says you're over in Florida, right? Good, good to know. You're based, what he's saying in his voice is, you can't fool me, brother. Yeah, yeah, it is Florida. Yep. See, right, I, I, it's almost disarming. Like, yep, you got me. Most people lay down. Yep, you got me. I'm in Florida. Yep, hey, you got to bring up my IP now? Yeah. What are you going to do? You got my IP address? How, how deep does this go? Try the next line. I'll be your senior, I'm the senior underwriter assigned to your file today for full compliance. My name is Marcus Woods. Am I reaching on your cell phone there, Andrew? Very good. That was solid. Good rep. That's a good rep. Right? Like that good rep. Not me what, what do you guys do? This is how we'll end this. What do you guys do when somebody literally hangs up on you? What do you tell yourself? Call do you just. And this is how. This is, huh? I call them back. I'm yeah. almost yeah. bitch. Call them back. You need a little angry. I can just stop calling them back. I call them back like five times. Good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Steven. Come on, be on that, Steven. 100%. Steven. Someone hangs up with me and we go, oh, they're moving my account to disconnect. And uh, we call them back. 
Oh, I mean, I guess, uh, you know, until they block me, until it goes to one ring and then voicemail. You did a good job, Ryan, changing the way you think about the leads, because you're almost like in disbelief if they're not going to react the way that you know they should react because they filled out the form. Mm -hmm. That's how you have to do it. Maybe you filled it out. Maybe you filled it out. Yesterday, yesterday, I was in a fight with Shorty. She was just going back and forth, like, I don't know, this isn't for me. I was just like, well, I, I see here you're located here. We 